Welcome to the LA Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hey people, this is Stevie for the LA Story. And this gentleman probably might look a little familiar if you are following any of my fragrance videos. And this is Christopher Servicel from Cologne Atelier. And we're here at Neiman Marcus in Beverly Hills because they're launching a new fragrance, which we're like dying. He, he emailed me and I jumped <laughs> to go make this one. So Christopher, tell us about the new fragrance. Okay, so the new fragrance is uh, Ombre Nu, uh, which will be Naked Humber. Uh, it's actually a very uh, nice story. Uh, that we, I would like to tell you. We were with uh, Sylvie uh, Ganter, we are the two creators of uh, Atelier Cologne, and actually we were in Italy, uh, in the north of Italy, in the Dolomite mountains. Oh, nice! And we had a vacation there, not really working, and we met a very nice couple, Italian couple, and when the, when the men started to understand that we were fragrance, uh, that were perfumers, he said, oh, but I have to show you something. Tomorrow morning you come at 7 and I will take you with my car up in the mountains, the place I love where I have a little house. And there is a flower named Brunello that grows there and you will tell me, but I like the smell very much. And the morning after we went there, it was very nice. We went up there and this orchid, it's an orchid type actually, red, very red, smelled like a finished perfume, like an ambery perfume. And we decided with Ambre Nu to recreate exactly the same perfume, which is a very good mix of amber notes uh, and, uh, and the citrus, and the one we use is the mandarin from Italy. So we have a new 18% concentration perfume, wow. which is quite high, so we can call it a pure perfume. You know, we call that a Cologne Absolu. Yes. This is our, I would say, uh, personal term to the to define what we do. And you have a great note, it's, it's an oriental fragrance, but probably the first oriental cologne type of fragrance that would go very well for women, very well for men. We had yesterday an, an Australian guy uh, that bought it, and today uh, a woman from Florida. So really it's, it's about uh, reaction on the skin and how you like it. But we are very proud of these seven uh, cologne, uh, absolutely. It's amazing because it smells so good and usually Orientals and I don't get along with. This one's really nice. Yeah, Oriental are usually very strong. Uh, many, many people tell us I love the smell, but then for me it's too, it's overwhelming, too strong. And this is why we decided, like actually all, uh, all the other scents of our family, this is why we decided to, I would say, counterbalance the Hambury and benzoin notes right. with Mandarin. And this gives a good freshness to a note which has a very strong personality though. Probably the strongest personality of all our family of perfumes. It is, in it, but it's so interesting because that citrus, the Mandarin, really gives it such a really unique kind of twist that it's lighter. Yeah, we, we like to say that we do balanced perfumes. Yeah. Not too strong, but with a good personality. Not only fresh, but with a, with a good, I would say, with a good citrusy uh, zest in it. And that's a good balance. We believe people, many people are looking for this kind of fragrance today that will, I would say, well represent their personality, but at the same time, it's probably more a fragrance for themselves. Uh, this is what we do in uh, Atelier Cologne. That's true. <laughs> so this is the second round or second collection. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the first collection, the first five Cologne, was the original collection. Uh, after Vanille and Sensé, that you could translate as uh, insane vanilla, but in a, in a nice way. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, that's an amazing fragrance. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we decided with vanilla to blend Vanilla, um, um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, lime, uh, jasmine, and coriander. So the, our vanilla is not sweet; it's quite fresh, uh, quite uh, I would say uh, spicy, so sensual. And so vanilla and ombre nu are the first two 
Cologne of our new collection that we named Matière Absolute. That could translate into absolute uh, raw materials or ingredients in English. Uh, actually, we want to do something very, very clear: is to take the most famous ingredients of the perfumery world, uh, vanille, vanilla, amber, and you can imagine what yeah. will come next, and really turn them into Cologne Absolute. So to really try to work around these ingredients with our style, with our personality. Uh, to create unique fragrances and uh, I can say that since uh, last year uh, because Vanilla Sensei launched last year in October uh -huh. uh, we get a lot of good, uh, very good comments from the people who say well, we were expecting uh, what you would do after your first collection which, which is very cologne, very fresh, very good some perfumes like Bois Blanc which are 20% concentration are very elegant as well, very good for the night uh -huh. but they were very much cologne and they were, we were expecting what you would do then, and with Vanille and Ambre Nue, uh, actually it was unexpected that we would do this kind of scent. So we are very happy to surprise people. It was and, great. Uh, I'm wondering, like, will you tackle patchouli? Sorry? Will you tackle? Ah. <laughs> yeah, patchouli is a very good ingredient. Uh, I don't know, I will not tell you, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, but actually we're working several at the same time. Sure. And for us it's about really having the right one coming up. So the amber was not the only one we were working on, but that's really the first one after Vanilla Sensei, who came up as really good uh, for us. Really this right balance, the, the right concentration, the right personality. So actually, I, I don't know even myself what will be the next one, because we're not working only on one. Right. But we're working on a couple of these of ingredients, these famous ingredients. Um, that I will not name. So I don't know what will be the next one. It it'll, be, it'll be interesting though. Yeah, yeah. We should be ready for uh, the end of this year. So, oh, yay! And we will come back here in Los Angeles, a region that we love. <laughs> yeah, you should the come back more often. <laughs> I would like to, but now that we have started as well to uh, sell our fragrances in France, in Italy, in Germany, in Belgium, so most of the European country. We just opened a store in Barcelona. Oh, awesome. uh, we have to be as well present in Europe to yeah. meet the European consumers. So, but still, we, we we come very often. So, we'll be back here by the end of the year. Yay! <laughs> Twice a year in California is a good average. That's, that's not bad. <laughs> At you know before the holidays, isn't that's yeah. usually a nice time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so as well. We will look for a major ingredient that will have a, a, a very perfect combination with the uh, with the season. So, so I don't know. Tell me here, uh, how is it in October, November? Is it hot? Is it? Uh... Oh well, it depends. Usually, typically, Southern California is quite warm yeah. in October. Yeah, yeah. Um, November starts to cool off, but you get cool nights, so you have very warm days, yeah. and then. You're wearing sleeveless things and shorts, and then you have to change because as soon as the sun goes down, the temperature drops very quickly. So then you need a light jacket. And but this last year, it was cold right away. We didn't get that warm snap. So it's like now we're getting the warm snap, which is nice. Hey, it's very, very good today. Yes, Monday was yeah. horrible because it was raining. <laughs> so we're very. I lucky. arrive on Tuesday, so that's. Oh, see, <laughs> that perfect. They, you ordered. You brought the weather with you. Yeah, let's say, let's say so. Not from France, where it's not. Uh, it's it's the winter now. So. Yes. So this is the future of the of Atelier Cologne, and uh, we are very happy to have opened a store as well in um, in New York last year in September. And our next two openings. Where's the uh, one in New York? It's in Nolita, in, okay. on Elizabeth Street, okay. number two four seven. Okay. Very nice location. Very good. Uh, very good place. We love it. And uh, the next two um, stores will be in Paris and Los Angeles. So, oh really? So I'm here as well to find the right uh, location where we could open our Atelier Cologne. Uh, oh my standalone goodness. Shop. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I've got suggestions. But, you know, I'm definitely. sure. Off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I don't want to hurt feelings, you know. <laughs> People, you want to. You want to go buy this fragrance? This I've smelled it. It's amazing. We'd like to thank Christopher Servicel for his time today. Um, I can't wait for the next one. <laughs>
one of these things like I because I was wondering I had had been asking you know, like when's is there anything new anything new and yeah. people were saying no and I'm like kind of going it doesn't sound right like if it was only us we would do probably five or six new fragrances a year but we have to uh, uh, we have to calm down because each fragrance needs as well to come out and be really uh, taken care of yeah right, it has to right. blossom on its own and grow and yeah. and have a Develop, develop a exactly. following. Yeah. So, people, we'd like to thank Christopher for his time today, and this is Stevie for the LA Story. Um, we'll have pictures of the uh, bottle and all that good stuff on the blog and links, and I'll put down the address for the um, store in New York in case you happen to be in New the New York area and want to go buy it, which you should do. It's also at Neiman Marcus. It's on. His lucky scent got this too. Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. It's a store that we love. Yes, we love Lucky Scent too, a lot. I, in fact, that's what I do is I tell people that go buy the samples and then give a gift certificate too. And then let the person find out, figure out what they want yeah. out of what you yeah, bought. Yeah, it's a very good, uh, very good idea. Yeah. So this is Stevie for the LA Story. Thank, Thank you, you Stevie. Soon. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on LA Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now, www.la-story.com.